presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Bookerton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. You are what you believe you are. This is a great card, folks. Just wrap your head around this card. Humans are powerful magicians. You have the power to make yourself what you are right now, but it's not your reasoning mind that controls your power. It's what you believe. We're a lot more powerful than we think, folks. Whatever you want, just put it in the head, man. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 136, NASDAQ off 108, S&P's down 31, gold contract down $5, 50 cents trading at 17.26 an ounce. We have silver down 24 cents, $18.85 an ounce. Light sweet crude, taking a hit. $8.51 cents downtown, $95.58 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note, up nine ticks, trading 118.21. The 30 year up 20 at 139.11. And King Dollar, good old King Dollar, up 68 ticks, trading 108.08. The euro is at par with the dollar, one to one. The yen is at a price point of 136 to the one US dollar, and the pound is at 118 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Bottom line, you get a lower market, you get a contraction of volume, so this is gonna get really intriguing watching how this whole thing shakes out. Uh, if we take a look at the SPY, you're down 320 in the SPY, uh, we have 36 million shares. Yesterday it did 58, so we're not going to basically do, we're going to do 30, 46, 45, um, yeah, about 45 million shares. And the number to keep your eye on now, there's two different numbers inside the, the SPY as well as the Qs that we're going to watch. So inside the SPY, um, it's 381.98. What that is, that is the high of July 5th. That's how we start going up, okay? Now, where it can definitely get to is the 380. Oh, this is even better. Oh, get down here first. Interesting. So picture this. The, the swing low, which has 112 million shares of the last leg down, right? The high of that is 380.65. We did 380.74. So the way that works when you try to test something is this. If it doesn't get there, then you would go right to the next higher bar with volume, which is the bar that was on the 5th. And that would be 381.98. So those are the two numbers. And if it doesn't get down to the first number I talked about, you'd want it to close over the 381.98 if you're bullish and you're looking for a bounce. That's how that baby's set up. We go into the NDX 100, the three Qs. Same type of setup in the Q's. Q's are going to have a little more volume, uh, but they're not going to have more volume than yesterday. So the Q's are down 311. Yesterday, we did 55 million shares. We're going to do around the same. Now, the Q's are going into the bottom bar is, we're not going to make that bottom bar. This is the bar we want right there. So it's 287.08. That's the number to keep your eye on. If we can close over it, you, you'll get a bounce out here tomorrow. Now, if you don't close over it, it's going to go right after that swing low that was established out here on the 
30th. This is going to be really cool watching how this whole thing shakes out because what you have here, this is basically a consolidation. You're going back and forth. The volume characteristic is that, okay, okay, which way are you pushing and what type of force do you have on that push? That's, that's what this comes down to. Gold. We're going to take a look at the gold contract out here. Bottom line, gold's breaking lows. Um, and it has volume. Now, this is really intriguing because, you know, we have 224,000 contracts. That's a huge amount of contract volume, folks. So there's buyers down here because... If you if that was a one way trade, you get a big expansion of volume, and you know that could get taken apart in a second. Now inside the gold market, what I'd be looking for is a close today above seventeen thirty point seven zero. It's only four bucks away, but that's going to be a hard four bucks to get. I can tell you that. But bottom line, that's how it's set up. And we get over to King Dollar. We take a look at King Dollar out here. Well, we have a King Dollar. This is hanging tough at, at all, not all-time highs, but all-time highs for the last 20 years. And you get King Dollar, bottom line, it hit a price point today of uh, 108.562. Right now, we are trading out at a price of, of 108.113. So, a uh, lot of moving pieces out here. Let's go take a look at that oil market. So, oil, you know, you talk about a downdraft. Man, oh man, this is about as intense as you can get. Um, just giving it all back. Okay, last consolidation. So uh, we have done 357,000 contracts. Let's take a look at this. Put this up here. Last time we're down, so the swing low there is 380,000, and it's 96.57. So you broke it. You broke it with 350. You get 380. Yeah, this thing is selling. Wants to go lower. This thing is staying, like it's really. Can, what is this swing? 90. Yeah, 93 would be the next move. 93 would be the next move. And you know, uh, folks, uh, I want to thank everyone out there. You know, so check this out. This is pretty cool, man. You know, we've been on YouTube for a while, no doubt, and we do so many shows. Okay, so we get a lot of views. But check it out. We reached five million views yesterday. Yeah, 5 million. Now, now that's cumulative, but it's still 5 million views, man. I mean, pretty cool. Uh, so we are, we are psyched. There's no doubt about it. We want to thank all you tigers and tigresses out here because without you, we wouldn't have a job. That's the bottom line, you know. And in that context, you know, uh, bottom line is that, you know, when I did that workshop, folks, I did a workshop, and what we did do is that the workshop is archived, and if you'd like to get that workshop, the last workshop that I did, uh, bottom line, you can. There's a full archive out there. When you get it, you know it's time in the trade mythology. Uh, you know goes through the whole bit. It's about uh, two and a half, three hours, and you get a you get a book with it. So you go into services, and you'll go into services. You'll see it right there. If you decided that you'd like to get that workshop, go through that workshop. Um, you know with price and volume. Stay right there, folks. We we'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading down. 132, NASDAQ 107, S&P's down 30, and uh, Microsoft. Microsoft is a cu culprit out here for, um, you know, a lot of these uh, indices. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, dearest partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. We have uh, Dow. Dow right now is trading down 137. We get the Nasdaq off 104. S&Ps are off 30. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show right here at TFNN every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, it's a great newsletter. The opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You go under newsletters. You're going to see the opening call on the left-hand side. You just hit that view button on the opening call. You're going to hit subscribe. And uh, bottom line is you're going to you not only get, a, whoa, how did I go? Uh, there we go. <laughs> and so you can get the opening call for one month, folks, for $149. You can get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And you can get it for one year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 at 33%. Now, once you get it, folks, you get on Basil's page. Bottom line, he has approximately 10 to 11 archives there that you'll have some great education to understand how he looks at the market every day, how he can ride the Chapman wave each and every day. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I'm doing well, but this market has just been struggling. It hasn't broken down. It hasn't broken out. It is just struggling here. If we can consider no it as buyers. a consolidation, yeah. yeah, if we consider it as a consolidation, that's one thing. But, you know, after consolidating, you've got to make a commitment. So for me, uh, the, the price movement in the Dow, it's so interesting. For three days now, we've been so close, even intraday, the nine-period moving average that I follow very closely, just for more for confirmation than anything else of a trend, went green from the pink. Pink is negative. It means it's under the 14-period moving average. Over the 14, it turns green. Yesterday, it went green just momentarily. Today, this morning, during my show, it went green. And I said, let's see if we can hold all the way through the day. No, it hasn't held because now the Dow is down 138. And within the patterns that I look at, you can see there's sort of, it's like a large rectangle. And within it, there's an arch formation. It has been making higher highs and higher lows since the high that was made at 31,885, round about at just at the end of June. And then it pulled back quite sharply. So this is an important pattern. And what's very interesting is that even intraday, you know, I like to look at arches and cups and arches and cups because that's what the market is made up of all the time. But even in today, we're looking at, this is the 10-minute E-mini. 
and it went from a high around about 3 o'clock uh, this morning, Eastern Time, at about 38, somewhere around 38.60. And then it came down, 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 made a low at about 4 o'clock this morning. And then almost in the same, the equal amount in a cup formation, it went back to the high and it broke out of it just briefly in the 10-minute bar. And that was the high of the day, 38.76. And then it pulled back. And look, what's the reason why I brought this up is I don't want to see the low that was made just the other day and the Dow taken out because you can see in this arch formation, we had almost within three bars, a 10-minute bar from 3 o'clock this morning till 3 o'clock this afternoon. We went all the way to the top and the same number of bars, we came down and we just touched the left side low. So you can see within the rectangle, there's this arch formation. So that's what I don't want to see in the Dow. Let me go back to the Dow right there. And that's this inside part. I don't want to see it arch over and come back. So at this particular point, I've said that 30,900, perhaps 800, that's really a serious cushion as far as I'm concerned in the short term. I want to see a break within the next few days of the high of, that was made the other day of 31,511. So that's the Dow. But what's really interesting is that you've got all these different patterns. We do, I mentioned the other day when we were, you interviewed me, that we had a, a stock called Sun Opta Inc. I like for my subscribers to have all different prices for entry levels of, of positions that we take. In this case, it was an entry level at about eight. Um, and uh, it's, that it's plant, food-based foods, beverages, organic ingredient sources, non-GMO food products, and packaging. So this stock's STKL is trading at 887. And you can see what's really important in this particular environment. I look at what stocks are holding well when the market pulls back. So, so far, this has done this cup formation. You can see in the daily chart, it's gone to a leg E and then a little doji peak E, which meant that I had to be a little careful. We've taken some profits, nice percentage gains on this. But I'm watching it closely because here it is. In this environment, it's up four cents at 8.86. So, and it's got a leg D in the weekly chart, beautiful cup formation. Here again, you've got your left side, right side price time match. The 9.01 was the target back in October. Uh, the 21st, that was the high that I chose as this cup formation, and we've gotten to it, and it's holding quite well. So I'm being very selective for subscribers. We've got, uh, we've got a big cash position. We're putting money to work, but very selectively. Um, it's, you, you, we're still along that dollar. We did take something off yesterday from the UUP, which is the dollar bull uh, fund uh, that we've been in since 2018, since April. Um, at 108.56, the dollar high today is in a leg E. It's done this one-to-one -one expansion to the upside. But the MACD is still strong. The stochastic's at 89% in the daily chart. The weekly chart is still 88% in the in the stochastic. MACD is strong. And the monthly chart is still expanding in the, the nine period moving, the differential in the MACD is still expanding, and it's flat in the stochastic at 88%. I love flat. Flat in the 80 88 to 90% area is really good. So I'm watching the dollar closely because this is normally I'd be saying, hey, this is about it. this is probably an area that it should be topping, but so far the technicals are still very strong, and that that would be a clue to some change in the market. But if this is still holding well, that's I I, I don't know if that's going to be it. So I'm watching it closely. And um, trying to put cash to work, but being very, very selective. You know, it's interesting, Basil, is that, you know, the, the equity you brought up, that uh, Sun Opta. Yes, yes. It's pretty cool, folks, okay? So, picture, of course, Basil is from Newton. I'm from South Boston. We, we Kendall Square. That's where all the biotech started. That's why there's, yes. there's so many other biotechs that are there. And I was just looking at the company you're talking about, right? And it's pretty cool. That's in Minneapolis. And what, what, all our foodstuffs, folks, come from the Midwest. Midwest, you got, correct. You got General Mills is in Minneapolis, too. And then you got Kellogg in Battle Creek, Michigan, right? You know, so I was looking at that. It, so it's pretty cool. You can see that wherever, you know, you have that type of brains, then they start these other companies, too. It's pretty cool, man. And, I mean, and, it's, and in a way, you you. I wouldn't be just like the oil companies at some point are going to take over more and more of the uh, 
of the battery, the EV market, right. I'm sure. They're going to have no choice, but to do something there. So this is kind of a niche. It's really a very important, you brought out a very important point, because this is an important niche in the food market right. for, many, for many reasons. But the reason why I got into it, uh, as I said, people who buy this particular product, I don't think they affect it quite as much by cost because there's a choice that they're making. So that just said it gives me a little bit of a cushion. But so far, it's acting very well. Yes. Sweet. you love it. Listen, folks, you can come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go to the newsletters. You'll see the opening call right on the left-hand side. You hit that button. Subscribe. It comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. So it's a great deal. And, of course, we get a great trade markets. Bowser, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you very much, Tom. You too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 200. You get the NASDAQ off 130. S&Ps are off uh, 39. And let's go to Microsoft. Uh, let's take a look at Microsoft here. So Microsoft is doing a number uh, on the way down in a, a monster way. You're talking about 11 bucks. And I suspect what this is about, folks, is that, you know, you have Amazon Prime Day. Well, this is a little bit different, Amazon Prime Day. They are out there also selling their cloud service, okay? And I understand this is the first time that they've done that in Prime Day. And you can see that it whacked Microsoft at about two seconds at the open this morning. Now, it's going to be intriguing watching how Microsoft goes into the, its swing point. So the swing point has 31 million. You're at 25. Now, it hasn't hit it. The swing point is... 252.90 with hit 253.30. But it's always dangerous when you're coming into a swing and you have an expansion of volume. That's Microsoft. And of course, that's putting a number inside the Dow Industrials. If we take a look at the Dow, what you're going to see, uh, bottom line, I suspect this is going to be the number one on the way down. Yeah, it is. So, you know, you got Microsoft 
Putting the 73 negative points, uh, Salesforce 53, United Health 28. Now, let's bring this up. This is, a, this is something you want to look at, man. And I know this has been a loser for a long time. I was on TD Network this morning, and I picked this one out uh, for a buy. So it's Boeing. And this is what you have going here. Okay, so it has the swing point. The swing point is at uh, 147.58. Well, the bottom line is that you're doing 16 million shares versus 12. It's an ABC up. That's when I was on this morning. I was speculating, that, you know, that's what we're going to have. Bottom line, you get the volume now. So check it out. Your A point on this is 113. Your B point is up here at 147. So we're talking approximately 30 bucks. Your C point is approximately 31. So you got 161. 161's game. Well, you got a couple gaps up here it's going to be and ice is laying out ice is laying out folks at uh 166. now when you take a look at this chart this has been a disaster there's no doubt we take a look at this march 2020 was bad enough they hit it all at the same time but look at this when you you know if you use price and volume we're looking at this man this is a classic man this is this is a classic it comes down it comes down hard it comes down with 740 million shares Test it again with 621. Then we test it with 239. Now, it's, and there's plenty of space in between it. Now, watch this. That's technically, fundamentally, it's going to get really interesting. Why? Because look at these numbers. And Boeing's not going away. Boeing's a monopoly, folks. That's the bottom line. Um, okay, so you look at this number, and if you're watching Tiger TV, you're going to see they, they're expected to do 74.9 billion this year. 90 billion next year. This quarter, this coming quarter, they plan on making money from here on in. So the next quarter, we'll see how this shakes out. They plan on making money, and they're going to go from losing 25 cents this year to making 596 next year. So something to check out, man. Uh, you know that's very unusual. Um, you know when you can get an equity like that at. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to do, and <laughs> I got to show you that. Not that it has to go to all-time highs. I was thinking it's for something, I think. But all you have to do is really understand the aircraft business and the business that they're in. That, you know, it, you're buying this at 2014 price. Yeah. Oh, no, this is even better. No, no 2014, not 2007. No, 2014 price. So, yeah, 446. 446. 446 down to 167, big number. Now, check this out. This is pretty cool. I got this this morning off Larry's show with Jim Bartolini. He was bringing up the dollar index, and this is, uh, this is pretty cool to look at if you're into Fibonacci. Um, you know, my take is the dollar's getting tired right now. It, it, you listen, eventually it might go to 141, I mean 121, but check this out. The, what you have is it at the level we're at right now, so picture, the high of the dollar index is 164, which was registered in uh, 1985. Now watch this though, this is cool. We're right at a 0.382 of the whole move. We're actually above it a bit. It's uh, 106, 520. So this is gonna be cool to watch, because this is why. We've been talking about the 121 area, right? If it gets a, a little bit further away from this, guess what? The 50% is 121. That's going to be game. So the cool thing is, and that's what's so cool about Fibonacci in general, is that it's a leading type of indicator because what happens is that you, can, you know what the number is before you get there. So pretty cool, man. No doubt about it. <clears throat> S&Ps, there's no help, man. Yeah, let's, let's take a look at this. So let's go take a look at this S&P contract. But I can tell you this, when... You do go down this fast before um, like a CPI number like this, and you have a contraction of volume, it's normally pretty good. That's how that normally works. So let me put this in the daily. This doesn't even work. So you're into the bar. Okay, the top of this bar is 3825. Okay, so here you go, man. This is where it's going to be. If, if we close, we're at 3809.50. And if you close under this 38.25, you're going to go to the bottom of that bar. I mean, if it closes at 24 or something like that, that's different. Uh, but that's how that's shaking out. So this is going to be really wild watching this can't come in. Let's go to the Qs and take a look at the Qs. You're down a buck 66 inside the Qs. 
Okay, so to do the same exercise here. So the Q's, the low, the high of the low bar is 696, and you're at 727. Yeah, so that's the bar to keep your eye on. The, that's the 30th. Yeah. And we're right next to 696, really. I mean, you're only, right now, you're 24 points away. So would you really like to see it do? You'd like to see it get down there, hit it, um, and reject it if you're looking for this thing to bounce once again. Um, hey, we'll see where it's, where it's going to shake out. Uh, this certainly is showing. Let's go to the Dow Industrials for a second and take a look at the Dow. Same setup in the Dow. So the Dow, 30,971, and you're below it. You're below it by 100 points. So the Dow is really already saying that you're going to go to the bottom of this bar. This is going to be intriguing tomorrow, man, because the, the, the aspect that the Fed is saying that they want to get down to 2% before they basically back down on rates um, is a big, is, you know, we're not going to be, this CPI, they're thinking the CPI is going to come in somewhere about 8.7 to 9, okay? Um, and, you know, you come in cheaper than that, yeah, it'll, it, the market will get a little breath because the dollar will get breath. The dollar is the whole game here, folks. That's what it really comes down to. What we haven't heard um, yet is off the um, large internationals that the dollar strength is hurting them. We will get that. We will. <laughs> that'll be the next thing that's coming down the pike, okay? It's just a matter of uh, when, and I suspect uh, we get earnings that's, that are kicking off next week. That's when you're going to start hearing this deal about the dollar, about the strength of the dollar, and all of the above. If we go over to the euro and we take a look at the euro right now, you can see that the euro right now, uh, basically, you know, this one here you know, it just says exactly one, this would be really wild. So the Bloomberg says that we hit 1.0000. You know, I know when I was listening to Tommy this morning, uh, he was looking that it actually hit uh, 99.9999, I believe, you know, bottom line, get the gist of it. Go get some euros, folks, you know, because even if it goes to 87, you know, if you're going to go get five or 10,000 euros uh, for a little vacation, it doesn't matter when you have to take the vacation. That's the bottom line. And you know what's so cool about that trade, folks? It's money, okay? There you go. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Dow. Dow is down 300. Now it's off 160. S&Ps are off 50. We'll come right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. TFNN has been your trusted source of analysis for bonds, metals, stocks, commodities, and options for years. And we are happy to announce that we are bringing that same caliber of analysis for the Forex market. Teddy Kekstat has 30 plus years of experience in Forex trading, commodity risk management, Forex hedging, volatility, and so much more. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with elite coverage of all major currency pairs, including the DXY, Euro Dollar, Pound Dollar, Aussie Dollar, dollar yen, dollar Swiss franc, and so much more. Teddy will recommend specific trades when the market presents them and provide updates throughout the week when warranted. For the month of July, inaugural members to the Tiger Forex Report will receive 25% off the monthly subscription for as long as they're subscribed. Just use promo code TEDDY25 to lock in the added savings. This offer is good only for the month of July, so do not miss your opportunity to save on the Tiger Forex Report. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up at uh, 276. You get the NASDAQ at 120. S&Ps are at 46. And uh, bottom line, let's go take a look at these uh, volumes just for a bit to see if we did have an expansion of volume or basically it's yeah, it's still, it's still light, man. You're at 460. Uh, you're going into 80, 44,000, rather. Uh, 44 million, you're going into 81 uh, million. So you're not going to have that uh, volume there. UVXY. So the UVXY, folks, okay, this is the ProShares Ultra Short uh, Term Futures, VIX Futures. Um, Fund seeks daily investment before fees that correspond to one and a half times the performance of the VIX short-term futures. Okay, so this baby here. Yeah, I mean, the way this baby's set up, it looks to me like uh, this thing just wants to go back up to this uh, 1850, man. Huh. That's going to be interesting. Yeah, that's how it's set up. That what has happened is this. This is this is kind of cool in the aspect of understanding the VIX product in general. Um, that product, folks, the larger dollars. People are wondering why the VIX, you know, basically is is not operating as it has in the past. Um, you know, the, the the bottom line is that the the VIX. And options in general, okay, what the larger players have been doing now is that they've been buying options on the futures. So you haven't seen as much play even on the way down as you normally would because what, what, what has happened, my take on what has happened is this, is that when you look at the aspect of how markets have evolved over the years, right, you know, you've always had the equity market. We were talking about the Dow Industrials yesterday that you could have bought a seat in the American Stock Exchange in 1974 for $25,000, okay? Bottom line, equities people are used to. Then, bottom line, futures came into the market, options came into the market. Now, money managers are much, they're much more used to trading options on futures. And, you know, once you understand it, it makes much more sense. You know, because the bottom line, you're going in for defined risk anyway. So if you're going to leverage a portfolio, the way to leverage that portfolio, particularly if you're going delta neutral. So delta neutral just means, let's say you have a portfolio with $100 million in it, right? What happens on the Bloomberg, I can actually hit a couple buttons and it can tell me exactly what I got to do in order to leverage that $100 million as close as possible. And so that's what has happened dramatically inside of this downdraft, you know? So, you know, we'll, we'll see where the, the whole thing goes, but um, it's a very, it's the, it's the best way to hedge it. That's, that's what it really comes down to. And people have got used to it. 
Uh, so that's why there's this many times that people say, okay, well, it's not going up as far as it should go up. It's not going as down as far as it's going down. Well, it all has to do with what the six-week option on the S&Ps have, you know. So when there's less of them and there's less buying, there's less selling, they're not going to drive it as much. That's what it really comes down to. Some of the other higher volume equities that we have out here, let's go take a look at it. You know, we know Microsoft is out here, that's for sure. And then you got Advanced Micro is up a dollar. You got uh, AMC is up 63 cents. NVIDIA is down a buck 30. Microsoft's the big bird. Tesla's down uh, $8.51. You got Oxy off uh, $2.30. Um, you know, let's go over to Tesla because uh, good old Elon Musk, it's going to be really interesting watching this one whole, whole uh, shake out. That's what it really comes down to. Meaning, you know, is it going to have to come up? You know, with basically uh, the speculation right now is that the, the attorneys, of course, are going to make out like a bandit on both sides. That's going to be the deal. Um, you know, and more than likely, what will end up happening, you have a settlement. And the real question is, is that, um, you know, I almost can't see him going for a settlement. That's where this gets really intriguing uh, because of the fact that, you know, you get speculation out there that he'll have to come up with six to, to, to eight billion which, you know, is like monster amounts of money. Uh, the thing that's get TW3, let's go look at this for a second. I'm really curious as to, you got Twitter, right, 33. Yeah, check this out. You know, if, this is pretty amazing, actually, because if, if he loses and does have to come up with like six to eight billion dollars, that's as much as Twitter does the whole year. 5.8 billion they plan on doing this year. Let's go take a look at the GDX for a couple targets out here. So the GDX right now is trading at uh, down 42 cents, $26.25. You're coming into the swing low. The swing low is 2604, has 24 million shares. You only have 13. What I would do is this. You don't, um, it is testing on light volume, but you might as well let it test. You know, that's, that's how this is shaking out because this could blow this away in two seconds, man. And if it does, then you get a monster ABC structure on the way down. Um, you know, I'm bullish the market. I can tell you that. I'm bullish the market. I didn't buy the GDX. Um, I get a couple equities right now, but I'd, I just let this one play out, you know, because the contraction of volume is huge inside the GDX. There's no doubt about it. Um, you know, it's coming into, you're coming into 698 million on a weekly. And last week we only did 85 million. You know, that says quite a bit. Now, that being said, though, you know, one day is not going to uh, kill you because what, what, what happens here is that this, this print will come out tomorrow. And, you know, my take, okay, so my larger take is that the larger ABC structure is still in place. And, you know, if you get my newsletter, you know that in spades, okay? And that's where we're going. That's my take. In between that, though, Right now, my take is that this wants to bounce once again. See, this, this is what the really cool thing is, folks. When you get a bear market, we're going to be going down for a while, man. This is not going to be like, you know, this is not going to be a turnaround and like happy days are here again. You can have happy days in these routes because when things do settle down again, which is going to be, who knows, six, seven, eight months, you know, you won't be able to get movement inside the S&P like we've been getting movement up or down. You know, right now inside the S&P, you can get 20 or 30 or 40 points like nothing, okay? We all know that doesn't happen if you've ever traded the S&P or the NQs, okay? The NQs move 100 and 100, 100, 120 points in about a second. And, you know, the NQs is 20 bucks a point. The S&Ps are 50 bucks a point. So, so it's big dollars both ways. And if you understand cause and effect, and energy in the marketplace, that's my take on that's why we're going to bounce here because there's not enough cause that has been built up to bring your next leg down. That's how this is shaken out. It's showing to me that it is cause for the way down because w when we go back topside, I expect the volume is going to die again. That's, that's the route. And then the larger picture is that you already took out the B point in all the indices with wide price spread, accelerated volume. There you go. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now 
Uh, down 210, NASDAQ off 117, S&P's off 37, we'll come right back. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down 188. NASDAQ's off uh, 103. S&Ps are off uh, 34. So let's go take a look at these, baby, and see what uh, kind of damage uh, this has done out here. So... You take a look at the SPY first. We're at uh, 49 million shares. We are at 381. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so one second. Let me see. We hit 378. Oh, this is good. Okay, so check this out, man. Okay, so if you're watching Tiger TV, we hit the high of the low on the SPY, man. The high of the low was 380.62. We hit 378.90. And this is going to be a close call coming into the... We should have the Greyhounds running, man. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, you close over 380.65. That's a rejection of lower price on lighter volume. Tremendously lighter volume, too. You get 49 million shares versus 112 million. I like that setup, man. Okay, NDX 100, three Qs. Let's see what we get in the three Qs. <coughs> three Qs. We hit 284.61. That didn't hit that bar. Okay, so the Qs are a little bit different. Now, watch how the Qs go. So we have to go to the 287.08 bar. Now, we're 286.44. 
Now that bar, you're going to come into that bar with 50 to 61 million, but not bad. You know, if it can make itself uh, over that, that'll be a different ball game. So what do we have? That's divergence, folks. <laughs> uh, that's still telling me we're going topside. It's, it's, you know, we'll, we'll see how this shakes out. Um, let me go to the composite because I believe the composite also, that came back pretty quick, man. So the composite, that number would have been 11,323. Nope, it's not there. It's not there. Until tomorrow morning, it's going to be a wild one, folks. Join Tommy, 9 o'clock in the morning. It's a great show. Oh, you know, the folks, the bank and claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Join Tommy tomorrow morning. CPI coming out. Look at him, folks.